guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back here with another tarot reading request, and for tonight it is on um, Kathy Hochul. Kathy Hochul is my governor. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't care for her. Okay, it's just my opinion. I know some people like her, some people don't. I personally don't, but um, I was asked to do a reading on her, so that's what I'm going to do, and we'll just see what comes up. Um, I'm going to jump right into this with the usual. Um, if you have any more requests, just leave me a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I can do basically, you know, I can read basically on anything you want me to do. And if you want your own free um, pendulum reading, general reading, past life reading, send me an email. And the email is down in my description box below the video. Um, I appreciate you being here and let's get into it. So, um, Kathy Hochul. Kathy Ogle. So, let me get the card shuffled. I just realized, even though I just filmed two videos, that you'll see, I actually have my Game of Thrones shirt on. And I'm doing the Game of Thrones tarot deck. I love Game of Thrones. Huge fan. I have not yet seen House of the Dragon, though. I will say that. I have not seen that yet. I've definitely, um, I've got to get on that. I've heard a lot of people like it. Um, and I love Game of Thrones, so. Alright, let's get this all mixed up here. So this video should be out Monday. Um... I will do my best um, to get a couple videos out Saturday. Um, I do have to work a double this week, so um, it's going to be hard with the time, but I'm going to do the best I can. But um, yeah, it's just hard. Um, I just feel like there's never enough time, you know? It's really frustrating sometimes. There's so much things I want to do and places I want to go, but there's just never enough time to do anything. These cards just flying out. Okay. Jeez. Alright. Let's get these all laid out here. ready. You know, this part's really annoying. I just, I like to do it while I'm on camera, because if I already, like, have it set up, you know, I've watched a lot of tarot videos, and some people are like, oh, like, you, you know, have those cards picked out or whatever. This is just how I do it. I know sometimes it can be a little time-consuming. I do apologize for that. It's just how I do it. Okay, so. Ugh. We'll lay it out here. Um, give me one minute here to just take a look around my, as usual, right off the guidebook. And if anything up, comes up intuitively, I will let you know. Alright, Kathy Hochul, Governor of New York State. Let's see these two right here. All reversals. We have three coins in reverse. We have the Empress in reverse. We have the Sun in reverse. King of Spears in reverse. The Magician in reverse. It's very interesting because two other readings that I um, have just filmed um, pulling up a lot of those same cards too, which is very interesting. All right, so let's get into this. So, put the magician in reverse. Oh, neck hurts. <clears throat> okay, so delays in communication problems come with a reverse card. So, projects go on hold. 
you may be avoiding something. There may be manipulation and deception. Um, there could be um, things you're talked out of. You know, I've read the definition of this card like 10 times tonight, but, uh, <laughs> um, you know, manipulation, deception, being talked out of a course of action that would benefit you. Um, so there could be, you know, Kathy could be dealing with some communication issues, um, could be some manipulation going on, which, I mean, honestly, when it comes to government, I'm not really surprised. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, we, we gotta be smarter than this. It, it's going on 2023. I mean, we gotta know that there is deception and there is, you know, issues within the governmental system. Um, so that could be what that, you know, is referring to, you know, delays, communication issues, work issues, um, projects on hold, um, you know, manipulation, you know, you know how it goes. So we have the Empress in reverse. I'm guessing this could be her. This could be Kathy. Um, so the Empress in reverse, in the reverse position, the Empress reveals imbalance in relationships and finances. Um, you or a person close to you may need to be less controlling and, um, manage money better. Creative projects may fester because you feel blocked. So, stuff with money is honestly what I feel. And again, it does make sense because when we think of these, you know, politicians and these governors and these, you know, elites and stuff, just like I said in my last George Soros video, um, you know, the money is always coming up, you know, there could be issues, um, you know, mismanaging, lies, deception, manipulation, um, you know how it goes, you know how it goes. Um, so that could be what that's referring to. Um, and then we have the sun in reverse. Now, as I've stated, the sun is a very positive card, okay, it's like a happy card, abundance, um, growth, happiness, well-being, vacation, family, success, um, you know, and obviously, you know, she's had a success, you know, she just won the election, um, you know, happiness, she's very happy she was elected governor in New York State, um, so, yeah, the sun in reverse, um, really doesn't have a downside, you know, it may just be waiting on things, um, but yeah, you know, again, it's basically just meaning, you know, success, achievement, you know, she achieved, you know, when a governor and, uh, you know, it's going to bring her, you know, money and, you know, happiness and all that stuff. So that does make sense. Okay. So next we have Spears. Okay. So we have King of Spears in reverse. King of Spears in reverse. Okay, so King of Spears in reverse. The reverse king can be Demir. I can't. I have really bad on um, pronunciation issues, guys. I really do apologize. Um, I was born like that. It's D O M I N E E R I N G. And conceded. Applied to a situation you could be feeling restricted or undermined. You may sense you're being controlled or oppressed at work and in personal relationships. You resent being overruled by a partner or family member. Um, so there could be, you know, some things going on, you know, at work. Um, you know, maybe things like with her or her colleagues or things like that. Um, or maybe like a personal relationship or something. Um, resent being overruled, you know. Maybe she don't want to be controlled, you know. I mean, she is a leader. She's a governor, so... That would kind of make sense, too. But, yeah, I think that's what that could be representing. Um, again, if any other, you know, readers see this and have any more input on some of the cards I pull that I might not be understanding, just let me know. I'll say that in every single video, so. Get used to it. <laughs> um, I'm still learning as I go. Okay, so we have three of coins in reverse. Okay, so three of coins in reverse shows unfinished work. This may literally be a stop building project or a project that can't succeed due to a lack of interest or poor scheduling. So maybe some type of like law or some type of plan or something that she has planned might not work out. Um, a building project. Too bad it wasn't the Buffalo Bills Stadium, not being built. And I do apologize. I know a lot of people love um, their football and stuff. I personally dislike sports, just in my opinion. And I don't think the taxpayer should be responsible for 
paying for the stadium when the NFL team is worth billions of dollars. I think it's absolutely fucking disgusting that New York has to um, pay that. No, again, I'm not saying that's what that's referring to, but it's just an example. You know, maybe there's, you know, some type of building or something or, you know, some type of law or something she's trying to pass that isn't going to work out. Um, but, you know, I'm just saying, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that the taxpayers have to, you know, pick up the slack for that when they are worth millions of dollars and they can afford it themselves. That's all I'm saying. Just an example. Um, so yeah, unfinished work, stop building of a project, can't succeed due to lack of interest, poor scheduling, etc., etc. So it could be something like that. Um, pick five more cards in Kathy Vocal. We'll do six actually, not five. We'll do six. again like I always say I can always do part twos in the future so okay so we have king of cups in reverse we have temperance in reverse we have ace of spears in reverse we have four of cups upright we have five of spears upright we have knight of cups in reverse okay So cups, we've got three cups here, can usually symbolize like emotions and love. Um, but I just read that in a book that I've been reading, it just kind of, you know, talks about like each of the things like the cards could symbolize or like, you know, the cups and the, you know, wands and, you know, the coins or pentagrams or whatever. Um, okay, so, where was I? Okay, so cups. King of Cups in reverse. Okay. So King of Cups in reverse. When in reverse, the king denies his emotions and his behavior may become blaming, destructive. Um, apply to a situation, the card reveals creative blocks, feeling blocked because the people around you will not address the vital issue. So again, you know, there could be issues, um, you know, with... Um, I mean, I just gotta say, I mean, being a governor is probably not the most easiest job. It comes with a lot of, um, you know, emotional, you know, things. Um, a lot of stress. Um, you know, so it could be, you know, it could be some, like, creative blocks. Um, maybe there's, like, ideas and things, people around her that just aren't, you know, maybe listening to her. Um. Maybe she's not dealing with her emotions properly. That could be what that card is symbolizing, possibly. I don't know for sure, but um, that could be what that one is talking about, possibly. And then we have... Knight of Cups. There it is. Knight of Cups in reverse. So Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, the reverse knight is a beautiful narcissist. He or she cannot be trusted, leaving you confused when their words do not match their actions. Ultimately, it puts themselves first while appearing to be courteous. Applied to a situation, you're unlike you are unlikely to get the commitment you need. Um, maybe this is saying she can't be trusted. Maybe she is just like the rest of these blood sucking politicians who's all in it for money. One thing that I will say, um, and I'm not trying to piss anybody off, but this is happening with all politicians. It's not just Kathy Hochul, so I want to make that very clear. But back when um, the C was going around and the, um, her daughter-in-law, I'm pretty sure it was her daughter-in-law, works for one of the um, pharmaceutical companies, and uh, she got a lot of kickback for promoting the, um, making a lot of money. You know, and I'm not even going to get into my opinion of the whole C stuff. Um, I just, ugh. But, um, maybe she's not who she seems to be. But again, I think a lot of these politicians have their demons. Fuck, I think everyone has their demons. I don't even think it's just the politicians. But, uh, um, things might not be what they seem. Um, maybe she can't be trusted. 
Um, you know, and the reason I, I just mentioned that thing with a daughter-in-law in a pharmaceutical company is because, you know, you just push it, you know, like, oh, you know, you need to go get the, you know, you need to do this. And she made some really bizarre um, statement about, like, calling New Yorkers, like, disciples or something. You can look it up. Um, it's all online. I'm not making it up. Um, just really weird comments, you know, just acting like she cares, but in all reality, she's just lying in her pockets at the end of the day. That could be what that means. Okay. That's my point. Um, the next one that we have is Four of Cups. Okay, so Four of Cups is hesitation, dependency, dissatisfaction, restlessness. Can I go one video without mispronouncing a word? Probably not probably never <laughs> okay so the four reveals listlessness and hesitation you may feel doubt or even cynicism when offered love or a work opportunity generally you may be low on energy motivation or withdraw into a kind of restless apathy you if you are an established relationship rekindle the romance so I mean this could be talking about you know obviously her being elected as governor um You know, maybe she is, like, low on energy and motivation. I don't know. Maybe that's what that's symbolizing. Or it could also be symbolizing, you know, maybe her marriage, you know, could be having, um, you know, a little bit of, um, or maybe there's, like, not, you know, a spark with that. That could be what that means, too. Um, it could be either or, you know, um, take what you will with that, I guess. Um... Next we have Spears. So five of Spears. So five of Spears. Five of Spears, key meanings, test, competition, interviews, opinions, pride. The five shows tests and often differences of opinion. You'll need to you'll need persistence to win and perhaps even to be heard. It is important that you present your case. Fluently, E L O Q U E N T L Y. At home, too, you may be dealing with strong personalities and find it hard to tell your side of the story. On the upside, there are S K I R M I S H E S skirmishes, or not serious battles. Um, yeah. I mean, that does kind of make sense, you know, again, especially being a politician. You know, I'm probably going to have a lot of people that don't agree with you. Um, you know, just a lot of stress, a lot of, um, you know, competition. Um, you know, it could also be symbolized in, like, interviews, you know, which would kind of make sense. She is a governor, so I'm sure she is meeting with a lot of people, having a lot of, like, business calls and things like that. So that could also be what that means, which, again, does make sense. So that could be what the five spheres is symbolizing. Um, the next one that we have is the Ace of Spears in Reverse. So the Ace of Spears in Reverse. False starts, creative blocks, miscommunication, fertility issues are possible interpretations of the reversed Ace. Overall, there's a gap between a wish and a goal. In love, you may be spending time away from a partner. Um, so, yeah, um, maybe a false start, you know, maybe some blockages, you know, that she will have to face or maybe she is facing you know, um, fertility issues, I, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> um, maybe there's, um, you know, talking about a gap between, like, a wish and a goal, maybe there's, you know, something she really wants to do, um, she might have to, like, rethink things through or something like that, or also, you know, maybe, you know, with her, obviously being a governor, you know, maybe she's doing a lot of traveling, maybe she's away from her husband, that could be also what that's, you know, talking about. It could be either one of those things, it could be all of them, for what that symbolizes with her, so. And then the last one that we have for Kathy Hochul for today is the Temperance in Reverse. Let me just find it. Okay, so temperance in reversed. When the temperance reverses, you're in danger of becoming emotional, overwhelmed. As love, career, and money issues cause tension, the card can also show that you're living too much in the past or the future. Pay attention to what you can change now. 
So with this one, um, you know, maybe it's meaning, you know, I know there's a lot of things that she wants to do for New York, you know, maybe like some of the things like she wants to move too fast or maybe she is moving too fast with it um, when maybe she just needs to think about like the now. Just take the now. Don't think about, you know, don't think too far ahead. Um, or maybe it's something in the past, you know, maybe it's something like that that she's um, living too much in. Um, you know, it could be some love issues, maybe career drama, career stress, um, you know, a lot of tension, which again, I mean, it does kind of make sense, especially, you know, like in the political field, there is a lot of that. So that would make sense to me. Um, again, if anyone else, um, you know, is really good with their cards and has any more input of, you know, what else he's going to be talking about, or maybe, you know, a little more input or a little more information, um, apologize, I'm really tired, um, you know, let me know, just leave a comment, I do appreciate the help, um, and again, if you have any other requests, just leave a comment down below. If you want your own private past life pendulum, as I just explained in the beginning of the video, just send me an email. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, please keep the requests coming. Um, I still have a few more that I have to get to, so I will get those done, I promise. Just give me some time. Um, I thank you for being here. Um, I appreciate you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. See ya.